what's up YouTube, it's definitely been a minute since I have been back with anything, there really has been nothing out there I came across, except what's been going on lately this year, um, due to the coronavirus, people have been doing things themselves, which comes into grooming, so of course you know the newest hot commodity has been battery operated trimmers, you know, for humans and animals, which I have got both, and because I couldn't get the appointment for my dog, so I ordered me some of the new trimmers for my pet, and then as a gift, I was given the new wireless, you know, head trimmers, cutters, and there's nothing new about this stuff, you know, there's already reviews out there, I just wanted to give a short review of what I think of them, um, you know, for example, let's just start with the um, dog trimmers. Let's just go aside for a minute. So, the dog trimmers, you know, didn't know what exactly what I was going to get. Of course, you see them all on Wish, and, you know, the quality of them, that people know really. So, let's just get it's It's plastic. And, um,. The only thing that's metal is just part of the blade, but everything else is pretty much simple. It has the adjustable head right here where you can, you know, set it from zero to like um, 0.8. And then, of course, you get all your guards right here for the dog. And, and just to make it plain and simple, it, the battery lasts a long time. It did an excellent job on my dog, and I still had like, by the time I finished cutting, my uh shih tzu he had like i'm going to say approximately about still had 90 percent on the back by the time i got done and i was out there cutting for a good minute you know just trimming through the hair taking my time and the battery held up excellent um i was able to cut my um sister-in-law dog too but she has a shih tzu too and um same thing I, the battery lasted a good long time i think with two cutting two i think i maybe dropped down to like 80 percent so like plenty of battery lifetime ones excellent be very careful i'm going to fair one you these are things are sharp they are they they might be built plastic but these things are very very sharp I mean, you should shave your dog easily bald. I made a mistake and underestimated his blade. And yeah, my little uh, buddy um, and his uh, cousin, they, they kind of got some bald spots. So that's my review of this. If you need um, something to do your dr dog, these, these are worth the money. They do an excellent job. Okay. Now, people have done plenty of reviews on these now when i saw them i said 50 bucks i said they're kind of cool i like to have them i mean pretty much i ain't got much of a hair people who know me but for my beard and i said well you know i thought it was going to be the same quality as the, you know the dog room was you know i thought this was going to be plastic and you know i just got them because it was neat surprising to me that i did not know These are solid metal. It's not gold overly plastic. That's a gold tone. All I mean, this thing is metal all the way around with the gold blades, which, like I said, I really had no purpose for this. I just thought these was cool as all hell. And I just said, you know what? I had to get them. And I am very impressed with these things. You are able to zero gap them. And I'm sharp blade. I mean, these things cut just like if you go to a professional barber. These things got a nice weight, a nice feel. And I mean, they just look cool as hell with all the gold tone on it. And you get all of your, your blades and stuff. I believe I paid like $55 for it. It comes with the charger, blades, oil, and then under it. 
well, I took it out of here. It came with like um, some other stuff, like the the bib to put around you, uh, a pair of scissors and a comb. It came with a lot of cool stuff for like fifty five dollars. I believe that's what I paid. And I mean, like they say, you hear it. That's the new thing now. The quietness. The dull trimmers are the same way. They're real quiet. It doesn't make that <clears throat> like you used to have when you go into the barber. So they, they're very quiet, but they cut very well. You know, you can see the life on the battery is still 99%. I only use it briefly just to trim my beard up. And, um, but I have to say, this blew me away when I got this. I mean, for $55, the whole kit, and it was all metal, which makes them very durable, very, you know, just awesome look. I had to say, you know, I just had to do a review on it, even though there are a lot of reviews out here about these new cordless trimmers. But, I mean, the, this pair right here, I swear I thought it was going to come in, it was going to be plastic. Just plastic gold tone and silver did not know that these things are all metal and I mean built very well so and the battery on these two I mean I had no reason to put them to the test but so far you know excellent battery now of course everybody has been getting into these the Buddha trimmers the dragons want the design on it you know the the, the TO trimmers now, cut, very nice build, you know, I mean, feel, I mean, this, these things do not feel cheap. It was nice way to them, anybody had them, everybody made a video on them, but the one thing I, I ran into, and I thought that they all was detailed trimmers, but they're not. You cannot zero gap this specific one, so be careful, make sure you research very well, um, and what you're getting with to be able to make sure you can zero gap this one I had to modify this part right here and shave it down to get it to be able to get it down to the zero gap no gap on it which it, it, it poses an issue with the position of the blade so you have to do some mod so I mean I've been researching and finding some blade that I can replace this blade where I can get the zero gap on it because when this comes this just comes basic as a basic trimmer it wasn't until I saw another YouTube um, person and they were explaining this about the zero gap on the blades so you don't just buy one and think this is going to come zero make sure that you really figure out because when you look at these over and over and over it's certain things if you notice the picture they don't show you everything about the blade because all of these are not detailed trimmers they all not cannot be zero gap so you got to make sure that they have some where you got the two screws here right up in here where you can zero gap it or down in here where it's, it's not fixed this is a fixed blade this came as a fixed blade and trying to find um, one that you can uh, swap out it became a little issue but I know eventually I'm gonna find something so I can get this thing to where it's down to a detailed trimmer so that's just a little detail I want to get. besides that I'm glad I got them I mean like they said anybody who's a barber would love to have these or even for you at home you would just love if you do your own trimming because these things feel they feel awesome I mean they just just the coolest thing to have I mean, I'm not going to sit here and try to go in between um, a pro or a con on it. You know, it does the job. It, re it really does the job when it comes down to, like, if you want just a pair of wireless clippers, these things are sharp and they will cut if you um just looking to, like, use them as. Because they come, when they come, they come with a the charger. They come with all the different size guards. And you know, I think it came with a comb, something like that. You know, a brush. And I mean, cut excellent, very sharp. But when it comes down to detail, to outlining, every last one of these are not capable of outlining. So 
make sure that you really check your blade when you get these or check it before you buy because I thought that I was getting these where these were a detail trim and they wasn't they were just standard clippers that could not be zero gap so I just want people that the way so you don't get that issue either so but besides that I'm happy all right so that was just my review of some of the new stuff that I came up with because there ain't much really popping off with cheap technology in the last past year since I've been down I've been doing a lot of stuff on camping and there's a lot of videos out there on camping um, I said I was gonna sit down and do a video for beginners because about a year or so it was my first time going backpack camping and it was a lot that I did not know and a lot that I learned and it's also a lot that you know Again, you know, I'm not big on spending a lot of money on name brand to get the same quality, which I have. I got a lot of stuff on sale, and we're just fine out there on the Appalachian Trail um, up in Pennsylvania. That's where I, I went in at, and um, I was going to do a video on the do's and don'ts, which I probably still am. I'm going to get all my stuff together, put it all out, and I'm going to do a video on the do's and don'ts of first time. Uh, backpacking because it, it's a lesson to learn and I'm telling anybody right now if you uh, it's not something that you should be up there doing by yourself going into the deep woods I can tell you right now I came across a lot of people up there that was up there by themselves and that wasn't a good idea at all just to think that you're just gonna take a day walk up there even a day walk can become very um, hectic if you don't know the train so, but I'm going to do a video on that stuff. She'll get all my stuff together and, you know, because there's, I mean, there's still a lot of videos out there. I'm not no expert, but I can give an insight from a beginner on what I learned and what I, I, I advise people if they ever decide to go, you know, for their first time. All right. Besides that, YouTubers, I'll get up with y'all if I come across anything I see out there popping worth putting on here or buying because remember all this stuff nobody sponsors me I pay for everything out of my pocket so that's why it takes me a long time to come up with anything because if it ain't worth me buying it ain't worth me showing all right y'all take care